All right, welcome to the call. Let us know who you are, where you're calling in from. Wendy, Las Vegas. All right, Mr. Pahong, Las Vegas is in the house. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the call. Welcome, welcome. Guys, get those last-minute people on this call. Trust me, this is going to be a grand slam, home run, hitting the ball out of the park type of call. You want to get your folks, your people, your success team on tonight's call. No exception. This is a Christmas Eve special training call hosted by none other than the top of the top, the creme de la creme. We're going to launch this call, ladies and gentlemen, in a few short minutes. And if you haven't done so, announce your name where you're calling for welcome. Let us know who you are and where you're calling in from. All right, welcome to the call. Let us know who you are and where you're calling in from. More and more times coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know who you are before we kick this call off. Welcome to this Christmas Eve special training call. My name is Kyle Salon. Announce your name, where you're calling in from, please. Kelly mm-hmm. in Oakland, California. All right, Ms. Fulcher from Oakland. Welcome to the call. Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you. Is it- In the machine. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. Glenn Markar on the call. All right, Markar and Glenn are here. Welcome to the call from San Jose. All right. Mike, California. Mike, Mr. Mike, welcome. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Guys, we're going to launch this call literally in 60 seconds. Send those last minute text messages. Give them a call. Work those phones. Get your people on tonight's call. You're not going to want to miss this information. Trust me, this is going to be life-changing information right here on this Christmas Eve special here. We're going to launch this call literally in 30, 45 seconds. Folks, in the interim, go ahead, if you're in front of a computer, I want you to go ahead and, excuse me, let me pull it up. IPT360.clickwebinar.com forward slash IPT, okay? One more time. If you're in front of your computer, I want you to type in your uh, URL there, www.IPT360.clickwebinar.com forward slash IPT. You want to follow along. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time to kick this call off top of the hour here. I want to welcome each and every one of you. I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, if if I don't get a chance to do so. My name is Kyle Salon. My my name is Kyle Salon, calling all the way from San Jose, California. I'm so honored and privileged to be your conference call host. I'm so excited and fired up because every time I get the privilege and the honor to bring this young man onto the line, okay, nothing but what we call magic happens, okay? He turns tragic into magic, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, he needs no introduction in the world. The number one, okay, let me repeat that, the number one distributor in all of LiveSmart 360. This individual masterminds with Mr. Chuck Hallberg himself, the basement billionaire, and has, is connected with, you know, multi-multi-millionaires. As a matter of fact, Mr. Romasio Poultry's background prior to being the first fastest diamond in all of California and North America was a self-made millionaire by the age of 25, for those that don't know. Uh, Since then, he's parlayed his success into the network marketing industry, has become the top performer in in, in all categories, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, You know, not not, not only is he uh, proud or, you know, fortunate about the fact that, you know, in his first 30 days, he's made well over $60,000, and most recent last 30 days, made well over $80,000. He runs a multi-million dollar business globally from the comfort of his home in many countries and many states and many cities around the world. 
But what he's most proud of is the fact that his servant leadership, his ability to lead people, to get to extract the greatness out of them, and to have ordinary people do extraordinary things, okay? He's on a mission to help a lot of people with incredible health and most especially incredible wealth around the world, okay? I want to go ahead and bring to the line uh, a good friend, a mentor, the million-dollar man with the million-dollar plan, Mr. Ramasio Fulcher. Mr. Fulcher, did you make it with us tonight? Absolutely. I'm on the line. Can you hear me loud and clear, Kyle? Loud and clear. Take it away, sir. All righty. Well, thank you so much, man, for stepping up. Here it is on Christmas Eve and doing what you do best, which is serve. And we really appreciate you and your humble leadership as well. And I want to just go ahead and, first of all, say, send a shout-out to everyone that's out there. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. And we definitely hope you have an extraordinary, happy new year. Guys, I am fired up for what's going on in my life. I'm fired up for what's going on in the team. I'm fired up for what's going on here in 360. We're not going to keep this call too long. I understand that I'm sure your kids are probably beating at your door saying, hey, where's my presence? Where's my presence? And I know I got my son doing the same thing. And so I'm not going to keep this call too long, but I think it's a great privilege and it's a great honor for us to spend a few moments together here on Christmas Eve. You know, we know what this day is all about for many of you. We know that this is a time. We know what this is all about. And that's what this call is going to be talked about tonight. We're going to talk about gratitude, guys. We're going to talk about gratitude. That is something that I can tell you. There's a lot of things in my life, that, a lot of mistakes that I make. But one of the things I'm very most proud about that I want to share and I want to spread all across my entire organization, anybody I meet, if you ever want to know how I've been able to achieve the little success that we've been able to achieve, it comes because I'm extremely grateful. When you learn to be grateful for the many, you will, you will definitely be blessed with the abundance of all. All callers are muted and they can unmute themselves. Gratitude is something that, guys, I want to spend some time tonight, if, if you allow us to, to really kind of seed into you, kind of speak into you. This is a time that I don't care where you live. It doesn't matter how much money you have or don't have. What matters is how grateful are you. Now, if you've taken notes, really quickly, I'll just give you one big nugget here. Whatever you, whatever you get excited about, you welcome it into your life. Whatever you're the most grateful for, more of that will show up in your life. So if you're extremely grateful for friends, I guarantee you, you will start to attract a whole lot more friends. If you're grateful for the little money that you do have, you will be blessed with a whole lot more. If you're grateful for the challenges that you may face instead of complaining about them, but being grateful because challenges, we all know, give us a great opportunity to grow. See, without challenges, you cannot grow. It doesn't matter. You need challenges because they make you reflect. They they, 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 challenges help make you more humble. They help you grow. And so tonight, guys, I want you to really, 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 you know, I don't know what your faith or religious beliefs are, but it doesn't matter. We all are under one universe. Here's the bottom line. What I want you to do is I want you to take some time tonight to really, really write it down. What are you grateful for? Guys, if there's going to be something that you're going to hear me talk about over and over again, probably to the cows come home. That is gratitude. Gratitude is something that I try and make it my best friend. No matter where I find myself, no matter what's happening in my life, good, bad, or indifferent, I always start, I am so grateful for what's going on because there's always somebody out there that has it a whole lot worse than you do. And so if I could ever, ever, ever really, really bring this, drive this point home, it's the point of being grateful. You know, today, guys, I actually am um, not just talking about gratitude. It's something that I'm working on trying to do more and more and more of it because I realize the more grateful that I am for who I am in life, the more I actually attract to me. I hope you catch that. You know, a lot of times people are very, you know, sad or depressed or angry or frustrated. And you know what? Those emotions, you know, <clears throat> they are created for a reason, but they're not the most serving of emotions. The one that will serve you the most is gratitude. Uh, today, guys, me and, a, me and a very good friend of mine, is one of my best friends, somebody I got a tremendous amount of respect for, taught me a whole lot. We took some time. Just, we took some time today to go down to the local, what we call, loaves and fishes, here where I live 
in Sacramento. Basically, guys, it's just a place where a lot of homeless people are, and it's a homeless shelter where they feed them and stuff like that. And we just took some time today, just took some time and went down there and had a great conversation in the car, and, and then we just kind of gave a little bit of money away to some people that were less fortunate, guys. And I was just so excited that we took Christmas Eve to go down there and spend a few moments with people that are a little less fortunate than us because we are so grateful for where we are. We are so grateful for all that we have. And we understand that the more grateful you are, the more abundance you attract for sure. But, guys, i got to tell you, uh, one of the things that I'm so proud about for our entire organization, and I told you, gratitude is something that we are, that's really big in our group. That's really big. Okay, and, and literally, especially with uh, me being a part of the group, that's definitely something that's a big deal, uh, gratitude. Well, I, I'm proud to tell you guys that we told you that things were going to be different this year, uh, going into 2015. We told you we had a lot of surprises. We told you there's a whole lot of stuff, guys. There's a whole lot of stuff that we have to share with you, but we're going to give it, we're going to ration it out little by little. We don't want to overwhelm you, but there's a lot of changes. A lot of great stuff is happening here in 360, starting from Chuck Hallberg himself with new additions being brought onto the company, reshifting, reshaping. Guys, I mean, products, everything, things are actually happening in 360. I am so happy with the focus of our CEO and corporate team and what they are doing, and I mean they're doing it at a rapid pace. And you'll hear, so stay tuned over the next few days, you'll hear announcements and different things that are going to be coming out. But one of the things, that I'm super excited about about our organization, guys, is that we have pulled together as an organization, and we have, uh, I'm very proud and very honored to say that we, starting from myself now, have taken our own resources, money, and we are now giving money to other causes. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, we'll be putting a picture up on our Facebook post, on the team Facebook, sometime within the next three or four days or so, maybe, maybe let's just say the next week or so, we'll be posting it up on the Facebook page. But I want to go ahead and say thank you to all of you and your support. Together as a team, guys, we were able to give over $45,000, $45,000 to an actual church in, down, in, uh, down in Louisiana, $45,000 in cash money. And you will actually get a chance to see it um, on the uh, team Facebook page, We'll be posting that, like I said, within the next week. I'm super excited. Uh, you guys are going to get a chance to meet the pastor of that particular church at some point. She's an amazing, amazing lady. I recommend each and every single one of you to get to know her. Um, she's just a great friend, full of a lot of wisdom, absolutely a true gem. 74 years old, full of a lot of love, full of a lot of energy, a lot of wisdom. And, guys, believe it or not, the lady can actually rap. I did not stutter. She's 70 years old and literally can rap. I mean, literally can rap about any topic if you would want her to. She has the ability to be able to rap amongst other abilities that she has. So we're super excited. You said, well, why did we choose that particular, that particular church? Well, when you get a chance to meet uh, Pastor Clarice Fluid, she's an amazing person, and she's 74 years old. She's recently come across um, a little bit of um, little, 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 little challenges with her hip. And uh, she's a very well-known person. Let me tell you guys, she's traveled all around the world uh, speaking. I mean, the lady is well-known. She travels with Les Brown and various other prominent people, and she speaks on very, very large circuits. But one of the things that she's always wanted to do is she's wanted to be able to uh, launch a coaching, uh, coaching um, a kind of a, a personalized coaching business, but, but do it from the comforts of her own home. Uh, because, unfortunately, just because of, uh, like I said, her hip, won't be able to do as much traveling as she used to. She's 74, but when you get a chance to talk to her, guys, I'm telling you, you will not believe this is a 74-year-old lady. I mean, you just got to meet this lady. I'm telling you, I'm so grateful for her. And so one of the things that we did, we pulled together, guys, and we got donated uh, a small token, like I said, $45,000, so that we can actually help the, uh, help, help the cause of her being able to take her message of being able to coach just many different people. She's, that's what she does on an individual basis, and being able to develop the resources and the platform where she can do it from the comfort of her home, own home by using, you know, technology and stuff like that. So just making sure what we did is we just kind of donated to that cause because we want to be able, for her to be able to share 
her wisdom with as many people all around the world. So I definitely would tell you, for those of you that uh, want to meet a new friend, definitely Dr. Clarice Fluid. Dr. Clarice Fluid, go ahead and look that up if you want. You can send me a text message, and I can certainly uh, certainly go ahead and, and, um, and, and shoot you a phone number. But, uh, guys, she's going to actually be speaking on our, on our team call eventually, probably sometime, maybe next week or so. But we are just so delighted to be able to give to her. And that's just not the only person. But right now, that's one that we did. But you'll notice as an organization, we're going to continue to do this. And so I want to go ahead and say thank you to every single one of you for your prayers and just for your support as a team. And I told you guys, I told you it's all about giving. Always remember, your income is not determined by what you make. Your income is determined by what you give, by what you give, what you make happen for others, which, which you make happen for others, the universe will make happen for you. Just remember that. Write that down. may not mean much to you now, but I promise you, if you write it down and you meditate on it and you think about it, I'm telling you, it has a lot to do with you becoming more successful than what you already are. Again, what you do for us, what you make happen for others, the universe will make happen for you. Okay? And then also, guys, we've got another special treat here being that we're talking about gratitude, guys. I'm so delighted that I'm going to step out of the way of true greatness, uh, somebody that I know extremely well, somebody that I have the utmost respect for, that everything I am and everything I ever will be, I owe to my parents, both my dad and my mom. Everything I am and everything I ever will be, I owe to my parents. And I'm so grateful for both of them. But tonight I was fortunate enough to be able to get one of them just to give us a few moments of her time, and that is my wonderful mom. She's absolutely an exceptional person, exceptional, uh, exceptional friend, exceptional mother, exceptional wife, and just an exceptional human being that uh, any time I get a chance to just spend time with her, you know, I always say, God, can you just make her live forever, forever, please, please, can you just let her last forever, you know, and so, again, we're talking about gratitude. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to say it if she didn't teach me this principle. So I'm just going to let her come on the line here just for a few moments here, being that it's Christmas Eve, talk about that one topic of gratitude and how that's really worked out for her life and also the other people that she's touched. So, Mom, her name is Colleen Fulcher, but, Mom, are you on the line tonight? Did you make it, Mom? Uh, yes, I'm on the line. Thank you so much, Ramacio. I love and appreciate you so much and everything that you're doing for the team. I'm honored and privileged to greet the team on tonight, and I get excited every time I think about the word gratitude and being thankful. I'm thankful to be on the call, you know, and I celebrate all of you. Everyone that's on the call, you are a born survivor. Whatever you've gone through, it's all been good. It's moving you towards your mission and your purpose, and I'm just thankful Knowing that all of us, if we look at all, all of the things that we've encountered together individually and when we combine everything that we've gone through, we are certainly born survivors on tonight. And when I think about gratitude, gratitude is so powerful. It opens doors. It gives you favor. It gives you peace. When you're grateful, you, you have joy. You know, there's a difference between happiness and joy happiness depends on something happening whether you're going shopping going to the movies going to play golf but real joy comes when you have the quiet assurance no matter where you find yourself in life father is going to meet you there and i get excited when i think about that and as we go through the holiday season always remember your seed never grows in your hand. You must let it go. And as we go through the holidays and we celebrate, we can give the gift of understanding. You know, it's not the monetary and all the big things sometimes, but sometimes it's the little things. Give the gift of listening. Be a, an effective listener. Give, you can also give the gift of encouraging. Encourage someone, you know, we're going to all be around family at some point, and we're going to celebrate the holiday. And there are many tangible gifts that we can give each other that don't really cost a lot. Give the gift of being patient. You know, someone has been patient uh, with me as I've 
uh, gone through my journey and as I continue to go through my journey, and we certainly want to pay that forward. Someone has been patient with you. You turn around and be patient with someone else. As you go through the holiday, one of the other things I want to share with you, I believe once you establish your vision, I believe that thoughts are things, and through commitment and faith, you can conquer any obstacle and achieve any goal, yet all things come in time. And with the combination of your thoughts, your blueprints, and your experiences, you can only be on the high road to success and you will certainly remain there. And so when we look at being thankful and being grateful, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be a part of Live Smart 360. You know, I may not be where I desire to be at this point, but I'm thankful that I'm a born survivor, and I'm yet standing, and I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and I have, I'm at peace with where I am right now. So as you continue to enjoy Christmas and move into the new year, I just want you to be thankful. Celebrate you. Give yourself permission to be happy. Give yourself permission to release those who've offended you. You are so thankful and grateful with who you are and where you are in your life, you know, and it's all about celebrating where we are. And as I close on tonight, I want you to remember when you see the beauty in everything around you, it will reflect the beauty that's in you. And you can learn something from every situation. Even if it's a negative situation, learn what you're not going to be like when you grow up. So as you go through life, either you're going to be the teacher or you're going to be the student. And so let's just celebrate each other and let's be thankful and grateful together. Back to you, Ramacio. Wow. Thank you so much, Mom. I just love hearing you talk, and I'm just glad that you were able to come on tonight and share with the team, guys. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> Those words are just so powerful. But anyway, guys, listen, we want you to go ahead and spend the rest of tonight uh, reflecting about all that you're grateful for. And just take time to be with those that you love and care for, guys. We're excited about where we're going as a unit. We're excited that you're a part of it, guys. And each and every single one of you, honestly, you matter. Each and every single one of you play a very significant part in the future that we all will accomplish together. All right? So with that, guys, we love each and every single one of you. Stay tuned for some special text messages from your leader that you're working directly with because there's going to be a lot of announcements that are going to be rolling out here very, very shortly. So we're excited, guys. Again, Mom, thanks for coming on, guys. And I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you for your prayers on us as a team being able to give our very first uh, a seed of $45,000 to a particular church. So I'm very, very grateful on everybody's input and help with that. All right, guys, Merry, Merry Christmas, guys. We'll see you guys very soon. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.